Hello everybody, I am here with the new playthrough of the game called Red. I don't really need to explain about it. Uh, I almost went into uh, the gameplay demo there. Anyways, um, new game. The game mode will affect the enemy's healthy and action mode. And action mode. You know what? I'm gonna be difficult. Actually, wait. I want to be. I'm, I'm want to. I want to try hard. Your game mode is hard. Are you going to play in this game mode? Yes, I am. Do you want to see the opening? Yes. Once upon a time, there was a witch called Chorus. She married a mortal man, and they had a beautiful daughter, Green. But as the time went on, Chorus's beauty gradually faded away. Her husband abandoned her. For another woman. This may Chorus seek obviously youth and beauty. Thus, she began to study the magic of rejuvenation. Green, her daughter, was not interested in her mother's witchcraft. She only likes the excitement of the hunt. One day, on her way to hunting beasts, on a, on a high cliff in the bushes, Green intended to shoot a wolf boy, Brown, who was picking up some wood for his people. She accidentally slipped and fell off the cliff. found herself rescued by her prey. As a hunter, this was really shameful, but she wasn't ungrateful enough to kill her savior. Ever since then, Green visits Brown when he is working. Just to trouble him, they fought a lot between each other. Oh my gosh. As time passed, and despite it was forbidden, the two of them fell in love. Green decided to stay with Brown forever, but the Wolf Clan didn't accept that. They believed it was against their rules. So they expelled Brown from the village. Chris couldn't stand her daughter dating with one of the filthy wolf clan. Besides, she no longer believed in love. She tried to stop Green from being with Brown, but the couple decided to run away and live together. At the same time, Chris casted a curse upon them. If you two have a child, the curse will spread throughout your bodies, and you two will die on your child's 10th birthday. Your child will be born broken, and the world will never accept her. However, two years later, Red was born. Although Red was also cursed, hers was not fatal, 
said she was born with three different personalities. Green also named the other two girls. The one with human appearance is called Vermilion, and the other one with wolf appearance is called Camellia. Ten years later, on Red's 10th birthday, the curse spread throughout Green and Brown's body as they told Red to come by their side. Green kissed her beloved daughter and said, Red, Daddy and Mommy will go to a place very far away. You have made us very happy, even if you share the same body. It's been like having three wonderful daughters. This is Mommy's shotgun for the billion. And Daddy's scythe red. Use them for your every day. As for Camellia, the only thing we left for you is your power. We're so sorry we can't be with you on your 10th birthday. Green and Brown hug their daughter Red in tears, and their bodies gradually faded away. Without her parents' protection, Red suffered from the strange look of the villagers and was often bullied. At one time, Camellia couldn't stand Red being bullied by the villagers anymore. She took control of Red's body and hurt them. prevent Camellia from hurting the villagers again, Red of Vermilion decided to seal her deep inside. But because of what Camellia did, the villagers were even more scared of Red and decided to isolate Red at the village's outskirts. Six years later, the village, there were news about young girls being kidnapped by a witch. In order to protect them, the girls were sent to a distant shelter, leaving the unaware Red alone. One day, there was a knock on Red's door. It was a little leaf pig with a letter. Red opened the letter was an invitation from her grandmother, Chorus. Chorus. Or Chorus. I, I don't know. Looking for her, looking forward to meet her grandmother, Red decided to search for her. So, I have a grandmother. Why are they telling us now that we have a blood relative? All the young women in the village have been captured by a witch. Even we were almost caught. Well, it's good news, isn't it? We're not alone. So it's deep inside this forest, is it? Ah, make up your mind already. Anyways, it's not like I can tell the body not to go. Thanks. Who cares? Wow. Monsters. Damn it. Why are we under, under attack? this road, alright? Could it be 
that something happened to that old woman? No. We can't let them get in our way. We have to find Grandmother. She is our only relative. Okay. understand what it's saying. So... Oops, wrong button. watching us. Leaf pig over there. Ugh, it's heading to Grandma's house. We must stop it, but it's too fast. Damn it, we can't keep up with it. There's no other way but to remove her seal. We can only depend on her now. don't like her smell? What else can you think of the... What else can you think of? Want to let our grandmother die? Okay, let's just try. Ah, <laughs> uh, finally ready to call me out. You think just finish your job and go back. Hey. Kidding me. <laughs> I never had this much problems in my life. Wow. Okay. 
come out for 20 seconds on his hand. Bye bye. From now on, once the anger slides build up, press the key and get into peace mode. Okay. You son of a- uh. Case a, a particular tomb calls their attention. It is called Personality and Physical Mutation. Do you want to take this book? Yes. A spider?
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. what it's saying. Wow! That mirror over there is too beautiful. I wonder who put it there. I think something is wrong here. Well, I, I need a mirror to try on my clothes, so let's bring it back home. Stop it, you idiot! What did you say, you beast? We lifted the seal just because we're just using you. Do you really think that I'm going to stop just because you say it? I reside in this mirror. I reflect both the shining sunlight and the darkest shadows. My sole purpose is to reflect the face of truth. Um, it looks like something is coming out. Idiot. <laughs> Shut up! I won like I care about what you said. Say. It's coming! Uh, stage 2 bus. Stressful. Uh, 
Oh, well, what a pity. It was such a nice mirror. I really wanted to take it home and see my cute self. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what about it? Why are you guys making that face? <laughs> Vermilion. <laughs> you should know why. Do we really have to cross this bridge? It looks like it's going to collapse. Can we just take another road? But this is... But this is the quickest way. If we take the other road, it'll take us an entire day to get there. Well, it's better than falling off. Look down. It's so high. <laughs> <laughs> so you're scared of heights, huh? What? We're talking about... Of course I'm not scared. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Let's keep on moving, shall we? <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> oh, so you are scared. You it Hush, something is moving. Uh, yeah, piggies. It's that beast again. Well... What should we do now? We can't go either side. It's all your fault, fault beast. Shut up. This bridge is not suitable for combat. We'll just have to run across it. Are you kidding? And I need a bit more time. So from now on, there'll be no such thing as the 20 second limit. Got it, Fred? Huh? Alright. Why are you too alone making the decision? Feel like falling from here. <laughs> so, Miss Vermillion, your choice is. Whatever, just take me out of here! I don't doubt what you said. Let's go. I did it the first time I played. Quick! Break the snakes! Oh, I know. So, there's no way they can catch up now. Nope. Finally. Don't forget the promise you made. Sure. Whatever. So let's move on. Hey, this place is too creepy. You sure that old granny lives here? The letter said that it's, ne it's near here. Help! Someone ha please help us! Wow. So there are really people here, but the voice doesn't sound like an old granny. The voice comes from that way. It sounds like a young girl's scream. Let's take a look. Okay. <clears throat> You're red, my lovely granddaughter. Come to granny. I missed you so much. Wow, so this person is our grandma? She's too young. Wait, was the voice coming from her? It doesn't seem like it. Grandmother, that voice. Catch her. But that's gonna be it right there. I'm sorry. Anyways, guys. This has been Shadow Blade 93. I need mean, Shadow Blade 93 playing Red Part 1. And I will see you all next time in the next video. So, peace out and keep on stealth. Later. Hey guys, I am back with more Red. <laughs> I got
got all the way back where I was at. What is wrong here? Mm. Grandmother, what are you doing? Well, well, it seems my curse has done a good job l letting you have different personalities. No wonder my cute le l leaf piggy and magic mirror were destroyed by you. A curse? What curse? <laughs> Dan Green tell you anything. Did you think your parents... Death and your weird personalities were just an accident. Bastard! You're the one who killed Mom and Dad. I'm going to kill her. No, we can't. She's our only living relative. <laughs> That's right. I'm your grandmother. You will be the materials for my everlasting beauty, and you will be with your beloved grandmother together forever. Red, she's the one who killed R Mom and Dad. I can't forgive her. Who cares if she's our grandmother? <laughs> Grandmother, do you regret killing our parents? Regret, you say? Are you asking me if I'm regretful about it? <laughs> My husband abandoned me, so I hated love. Green decided to be with that filthy wolf plant boy, so I gave up on my family. All that matters in regards to the curse pressing upon you. It is just a new spell experiment. Why should I regret about that?
sorry. <laughs> it seems this body won't last any longer. Stupid old hag, are those your last words? Don't worry. It's just that this body can't endure too much pressure. So all I have to do is getting a new one. I'm not reading that. Actually, La Mac Losaki Mandalo? La? Ha! Huh. Okay. Let's just. Yep, she just created an egg. What the? That old hag turned into an egg? I sense a very dangerous atmosphere. This is bad. Red, break it quick. Okay.
was really tough. Ay. My beauty! My youth! I almost got it! I hate you! Curse you! Little girl, your skin is so delicate. Do you mind sharing some with your granny? <laughs> I just had to make that noise. Still clinging to her beauty until the very last minute. That's just gross. Seems she was the one who took the village girls. They might be in the house. Let's save them. Please save us. You guys fall back a little. I'll get you out. Right, I'm recording, so don't even think about it. Aren't you the girl who lives on the edge of the village? Did you save us? Thank you. You're welcome. You dropped something. Here you are. This letter. You're the witch's granddaughter? Are you planning to capture us, too? No, I'm not. Ah! Get away from us! Get away from me, monster! Damn it. What? What is this bitch saying? Say it one more time. I'll hit you. Ah, help! Looks like we can't go back to the village now. Those villagers will burn down our house for sure. Duh, of course. What should we do now, Red? We're alone again, with no family left. I'm concerned about what Grandmother said about the curse. Does it have anything to do with this book? Uh, uh, open it. Maybe we can find something. Okay. For the miracle, the curse can conflict the blood with each other, resulting in the split personality of the child. This paragraph was torn up. If one wants to lift the curse, the caster must be killed and the book destroyed. The extra personalities will be erased and the norm and the one under the curse back to normal. The caster must be that old woman. So all we have to do is destroy in that book? Idiot, didn't you read the whole thing? If the spell is removed, you and I will be gone. Mm. But if the curse is removed, that means red will be normal. Right? That way, she won't have to be discriminated by others anymore. Wow. You really thought about it. You really thought it through this. Through this time. It sure can let Red let a normal life. No. I don't want to be separated from you guys. I'd rather stay the same. As long as you guys are with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. I still want to wear pretty clothes, eat tasty food. Why would I want to disappear? But we still have to hide this book. Red, let me your body. I'll keep this book safe. Um, okay. What is she doing? Camellia, stop the red. What are you guys 
guys doing? Stop it! And let me go! If you can live in normal life, when we are gone, it's all worth it. Red. It was because of us that you suffered discrimination of the villagers. We owe you too much. You, you guys don't owe me anything. You are my sisters. It was you two were with me during those days. I don't want you guys to disappear. With us around, you'll always suffer from the torture of others. We don't want you Badly anymore. It's not fair. Why are you guys choosing to leave me? Leaving me alone so I live a normal life. You dummy. That's what we want for you. Because you are our sister. Wow. What? What's happened? What's happened? We get to have our own body, too. Vermilion! Camellia! Hey, don't cry. Don't you see we're okay? It seems like the torn part from the book was if the miracle is an even number, it will become one. Maybe that's what it meant. Huh? So... Are we supposed to be triplets? Let's just think it that way. Or else our... fraternity won't last long. You guys are, are not allowed to do this yet. I don't want to be separated from you two. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we promise. Oh... <laughs> One year later. Ah! Help me! What? Idiot. We all fled. Hurry up and shoot. Wow, that was pretty good. 
That was the actual real ending. I... I am really surprised. End the secret enemy in the in second level. I won't lie, that was pretty good. Um. I think uh, I will play this again sometime uh, for the normal ending route for you all. It's pretty much... I'm the Red Hood Hunter. The normal ending. Anyways, this has been Shadow Play 93. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Keep on the stuff. Laters.